I said, with humility, but with a lot of power. There's very few bands in this world like my band. I want to take you back to 1965, Richie Valens, four years later, Woodstock. Tell me about Richie Valens and the influence he had on you. You know, Richie Valens to me was like the first uh, Santana, you know, and then Jose Feliciano. and They showed me that, that there was a place for me uh, along Elvis Presley or Jimi Hendrix or B.B. King. They showed me that it was possible for a, a Mexican dishwasher to dream that I can be in that uh, stage, in that arena, and make a difference. 1969 Woodstock, you were the only unsigned band to perform at that festival. What was that like? I have a great uh, support system entities like Bill Graham, Clive Davis, uh, Miles Davis, uh, Tito Puente, B.B. King. All of them adopted me, you know, they would call me on the phone and, and they confer and, and teach me what to watch out for and what to be careful with. Uh, so, yeah, um, because of Bill Graham we were able to play in Woodstock. Most of us have never seen a Santana show. Give me an idea of what we can expect in Cape Town and Dover this week. It's a concert like Bob Marley or Michael Jackson, you know, where you feel that a sound resonance vibration rearranges your molecular structure. You know, because it, it, you get chills, your hair stand up, and you start crying, you don't know why, you start dancing, and you, you start shaking off fear and the illusion of separation, distance and separation and you start feeling that inside you there is that energy that you can also create miracles and blessings and beauty. It's like a volcano and a whole bunch of lions roaring. Carlos Santana, a real pleasure to meet you. 